It's you or me, and it ain't gonna be me. <laughs> Hello everyone, Manny here, and welcome back to Survival Diaries. Oh man, that looks awesome. Vim Pop Factory over there. Um, I don't know. We could go in there, but... I mean, we could go in there. Adventure, man. We were really supposed to be heading out to, uh, kill the Trapper Leader. But I'm not too sure how that's gonna work out for us. Um, we might have to swim it out. It's a shame, but we might have to swim it out. It looks hostile either way, but let's go. Oh wow, so the flames do hurt you. I've actually never tried to jump into them, but I was always curious. Alright, let's not let's not get cavalier. Places like this are great ambush points. Alright, we might hit the Vim Pop factory on the way back. So How's everyone doing? Me, I'm doing fine. I'm getting about 10 rads a second swimming through this water, but I've been good. Just trying new things. Uh, got a new build. Well, it's not really a build. It's like in addition to your main settlement, you might want this. Uh, really benefits in survival mode. Let's just put it that way. Really benefits in survival mode. A little risque, a little danger close, but you know what isn't risque and danger close? Right. Yeah, I, I kind of saw him, but you know. All right, that was bad. I, they really should have fixed the reloading animations. I mean, in a game like uh, Fallout New Vegas. It only reloaded as many as you needed. But, I don't know. Settlement systems was so much more important, I guess. And, in actuality, it is kind of cool. Like, I'll try to talk about this as, mm, I don't know, cohesively or coher coherently as I can while we try not to die from ghouls. And radiation exposure, but like it's okay. So basically, I just want to talk about something that I had observed, and it was that um, I don't know how many of you guys have played Fallout 3. Um, yeah, well, let's just use Fallout 3 because that's like my primary example of this. Um, Fallout 3 is an amazing game. It has like such depth to it. But you have to find that depth. And not only that, you have to give yourself a purpose for the depth. Because like, A, there was a level cap system. So you kind of had to know how your build was going to go, you know, before you even made your build. Otherwise, you wouldn't have the right perks at the right time. And that kind of put a meta game to it but when you're coming up to max level like what's the point of continuing the adventure so what it made me think of is that uh for those of us that have played it you've given yourself your own meta game i imagine um mine was pre-war money <laughs> i wanted like uh i had 10 penny towers house and on the floor, every uh, after every mission, I'd come back and I'd drop all my uh, pre-war money on the floor. And it kind of started off with like little to nothing. But by the time I was max level and I'd been everywhere and done the DLCs, I had like an entire room full of cash just on the floor. Uh, it ended up starting to despawn at a certain point. But I like had bathtubs filled up with it. All types of cool stuff. And basically the point of all this is that in Fallout 4, while it did not have the Calm down, you freak. It did not have the depth of quest 
it had its own metagame with the settlements. And I didn't have to be like, oh, you know, I want the pre-war money just for me. <laughs> I could be like, man, I literally need to get the junk to build the settlements. And for me, uh, that really made my first playthrough. Uh, that's how I was able to make those settlements with tons of rocket turrets or missile turrets, whatever. Did we, did we bet wrong? Oh, they're all dead. Okay, cool. But yeah, that's just something I kind of had observed before the action starts getting hot and my uh, speech goes back to that action, that action. Yeah, it's already getting there. But, you know, you guys think about it because, like, I find myself able to play Fallout 4 a lot more. I mean, not... Let's see, I played, I don't know, multiple playthroughs, multiple hundred-hour playthroughs. Uh, I haven't played it on the PC yet because it needs some optimization that I'm not really too sure I can handle. Uh... But like on consoles, man, just played it out, played it out multiple times because it's an amazing game. But then at the same time, uh, it loses that meta, you know, the meta game to keep you going, to keep you building, to get new stuff. Ooh, we need that. Yeah, I, th I thought it wasn't me wrecking. I can't believe the ghoul took that dude's legs off, man. Amazing. Well, we'll take it if we can. I haven't seen Longfellow in a while. But we're just cleaning up. So, back to the mission since I've been like... Oh shit, a bed. And some more good stuff. We finally got enough military grade duct tape. So I went on ahead and I upgraded our uh, body armor. I'm going to get asleep, guys. Hold on, let's see where we're at. Oh shit, yeah man, let's get a sleep because I think that's the fight, man. Hey guys. <laughs> well we were on the road, but yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Oh he's not facing us. Oh man. So, uh do we fight it? I don't know if we can hurt it, honestly. Um, maybe radium rifle? I know, that's that's silly, but maybe radium rifle and psycho jet, and we could just kind of gun it down? I mean, I would, I, would, I would go with old reliable, but I got a feeling it'll get us killed. We'll be at, like, danger close ranges, I imagine. We have a few frag grenades, I believe. Yeah, we got a few frag grenades. So maybe. I haven't fought too many of these guys, so I stand understandable. Ooh, long fella. Understandably, I'm a bit cautious. Oh, is he still just a truck? Yeah, I think he's still just a truck right now. Oh, I can hit his shell. <laughs> I don't want to, man. I think I'm just gonna throw some grenades and hope for the best. Straight and true. Stop right there. Winners. 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 Look at that. Stop right there. Look at that, man. Steady hands, Captain. Does this not work? No, nah, we were just totally we missing. Eyes <laughs> open, something stalking us. Yeah, it's these little things, man. Well then, what's next? Probably clean up some more of these little things and then go take a look at this guy. Holy shit! Awesome, man. These perks, while on the surface they seem damn worthless, <laughs> they let you do some pretty cool stuff. 
Uh, I gotta say, man, that's some pretty cool stuff. We are not putting our weapon away. Uh, but we will continue to look around. Yeah, definitely. Now, just think about it, guys. Just think about it. If I had all the perks, uh, we could bring this guy with us, man. <laughs> it got me thinking about what I'm going to do for Nuka World. Definitely. All right, Longfellow. Let's finish it up, man. Yeah, that was probably a bad idea. But surprisingly, radium rifle works really well against it. Surprisingly. Man, that's awesome. All right. I think we want it all, brother. I think we want it all. You know, Longfellow, you're not bad. Other companions, they've died four or five times over out here. And they had ballistic lining, but... Not long, fellow man. All right. Hopefully that's not like the highlight of the episode. <laughs> that was pretty cool, though. I gotta say, uh, that was pretty cool. I've never seen one that that close up before. I tell you, man, it's all an experience. And we are getting closer to our point of destination. Um, I guess you can call this a bit of a slower episode. Holy? Nice, man. Nice. Bit of a slower episode, but we're going to go on ahead and enjoy it. Hey, guys. Welcome back. All right. I do believe that we're just at some type of... Wow, that looks really cool. I have no idea what he's doing, but that looks damn cool. Oh, I get it. He's hunting. He's hunting. Wow, look at all of them. Hmm. I'm seeing a lot of these. A lot of these uh, weird engagements. Did that pop up for us? I don't think so, but I haven't seen a lot of these weird engagements. I don't like these trappers on the roof up here, man. Came out here, decided to test out some uh, fried fog crawler. Ooh, it's hectic out here, man. Just steady. You don't want none, buddy. We could let him follow. Else we'll let him follow because we didn't want the trappers to be alerted to us. So, why are you guys coming for me? I'm not sitting on top of the house sniping your brothers. It's alright. Experience. Ooh, ooh. Experience obviously didn't sh teach me too damn well. Hey, uh, man, the radiation got a little rough out here. Let's zip ourselves up. Man, we want everything. Let's eat poached angler. Ooh, did you hear that zip by? Trappers. Come on. We didn't want to have to waste a crit. Alright, so what are we thirsty? We're hungry. And now we're sleepy. Oh well. Oh yeah, we need some of these carpuses. Oh man, we didn't kill him though. But that is a legendary ruthless trapper. Man, we're getting seriously rough. All right, come on, cause something about this zone it doesn't like. Let's rush. Ooh. Stop right there. Yeah, something new for you guys. Something new. We went on ahead. We spent those points. Man, I don't know what was going on, but it, we're all right now. But we spent those points. I think we need to kill yeah. these guys. Let the blood flow.
Okay, he's not alive. He's not alive, so... That's right. Run and hide. I don't see him, man. Oh, there he goes. Okay, okay. I know, I guess it's been like a really long time since we talk about the, uh... uh, uh, uh. Yeah, what's up? What's up? Man, yeah, you're really messing up Longfellow. Sorry, Longfellow. Are you in the water? No, you're just standing there. So, what's up, buddy? What's up? What you got? Uh, shit, give it, give me it, give me it. Give it to me. Give me the rest of it. If you had, like, the highest rank of pickpocketing, then you could have taken his clothes and stuff. Uh, if you had the highest rank of, uh, intimidation, he would become a companion. <laughs> as long as your weapon's pulled, I believe. Actually, no, I think you can put your weapon away with them once they be... Aw, oh, come on, man. Oh, well. We got ultimate positioning. We're okay. Lots of meat down there. Lots of meat. And probably lots of loot, man. But this rain... Oh, well, that guy. I've never seen that guy before. A grim trapper. I mean, he wasn't all that awesome, but just let me know um, off the top of my head what I went with. I had five levels, uh, <laughs> one for intimidation, of course, because, yeah, uh, it's pretty awesome. Can we eat? Yeah, let's just eat post angler and maybe drink a water, save our stems. We're kind of running out. We need to seriously loot this place. Oh, the hunter's hood. Man, let me check it out. Let me check it out. I know, I'd be, I'd be on my fashion souls, man, but come on. Aw, oh, that's pretty badass. That's pretty badass. Well, I got an extra point of endurance, so uh, we kind of don't need our hat anymore. I'm going to miss it, though. That shit was badass. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. Can't put our shades on with it, but I'm sure we can, uh, we can manage. Hot damn, T. Now, if only this thing was ballistic lineable, man. Oh, well. That's how we roll. Hmm. Worthless. Junk had some... It was worth some good money, though. How much is this trapper gear worth? Mm, not enough. Not like heavy combat armor chest piece, guys. I'm trying to tell you. Next week's video is going to be huge. Anyways, let's keep it moving. I'm going to loot this place. If I find anything of uh, value or just of worth, I'll, you know, let you guys know. Until then, see you guys in the next zone. It's you or me, and it ain't going to be me. I think, I think we're going to die. Longfellow let him in behind the lines. And we might die out here. I'm not too sure. Let's just try to do what we can while we're out here. Give Longfellow some cover. Maybe he won't die instantly, but it's seriously looking that way. Grim Reaper Spirit, thank you, sir. Look at him come, man. Nothing's stopping him. Where'd the damn angler go? Oh, that's the guy we've been looking for. I think I got hit in the chest with that damn harpoon a second ago. As long as we keep a couple of crits up, we're okay. Was that Gamma Gun? What was that? It looked like Gamma Gun, man. It is Gamma Gun. It's all right. We got a couple of crits stored up, and we're we're not shooting conventional weaponry either, bruh. Look at him with the Gamma Gun. Still got Warrior. Ah. I still don't know what happened to that albino angler, man. But we're not dying, at least. Get a couple of stems. All right, come on, man, let's move forward. 
There's a lot of bodies. There's a lot of loot, but I'm probably going to have to go back for that later. We're already kind of peaking with weaponry, and I'm not going to slow down the diary for it. Looks like we only took out the vanguard. That's alright though. We'll just move from cover to cover. Yeah, I hear him. Let's just take it easy. Let's get in. So we're gonna have to do a strafe run, it seems. Silent options, Longfellow. I heard him. Maybe he's actually taking a bath. It's a nice bathroom. Fully furnished, even. I mean, forgive me for not relaxing, but you know, you know how he goes in these trapper houses. Is he sleeping? sleeping at least I don't think he was sleeping let's go check it out no nope. we got us a bed but we could wait oh you trying to hide good it's more fun that way hey I like it I mean we're not like intentionally trying to hide but then at the same time we're we're trying not to get ambushed I mean I hear him making all sorts of noise okay hello Douglas okay mm. I can't find him he's somewhere though I don't get it. I can. Longfellow found him. All right, we'll just we'll just crit him. the ammo and see what's left. There's more of them up there, man. All right, let's do it. We're gonna have to. Uh, We've got we're gonna, company. We're gonna move in. Shit. Time to man. stop for a drink. Man. He was not feeling our radium rifle. Man, I am seriously glad we ballistic lined our equipment. I think we would have probably died. Not to say that guys would damn Man, it is like dark as balls out here, man. <laughs> a mining helmet and a tuxedo. That's not an awesome combination. I just don't know what is. Uh, okay, so this is the guy's room who had the gamma gun. Sure, something was there. Oh, they're here, Longfellow. They're here, man. Well, I think it's just uh, he is here. But I think we're gonna have to go about to grab him. Let's get our light off. Just do some Rainbow Six room by room. Man, I like that. Why can't I get this place like a settlement? That's pretty stunt. I mean, I have to clean it up, but I mean, look at it. It's got a damn eye wash station, man. How cool is that? I don't think the radium rifle is gonna kill Douglas. I just, I just got this feeling. That's not going to kill Douglas. Hell, we might can't kill Douglas. Let's just not get ahead of ourselves about that. 
I don't think we need a tin can. You trying to tell me I could hear Douglas snorting and stuff like all the way up here? Oh, well, <laughs> I guess we can kill Douglas. Ah, oh, damn. Man, it's dark out here. Okay, well, we gotta, we gotta listen to that. If he can come on. Well, that settles it. I am 100% screwed. Oh, no. Damn this fog. You think a lighthouse would be easy to find, but not in this. Never seen fog like it. Can't believe I let myself get talked into this. How do I know that woman wasn't crazy? I'm starting to think her whole story was some fantasy she cooked up to get attention. Taking out one trapper to avenge her husband's death. Sour easy. Hmm. Damn, Cassie Dalton. And apparently Longfellow fell, so <laughs> let's give one more sweep to the room and then we better go pick that dude up. But shit, man, I think we made it. Doing all right. Got us a new hat. More moves. And man, quite honestly, I got a, a higher respect for trappers at this point, man. They go pretty damn hard. Anyways, see you guys on the road. Huh? Come on, Longfellow. I think we got enemies out here, bro. Huh?